It's your boy, Neighborhood Nature Boy. What's poppin' with the population, neighbors? How y'all doing on this beautiful Monday, man? Today is the very last official day of this recent Neighborhood Juice Cleanse. Yes, today is the last day, man. And I just want to say, before we even start anything, I want to give a big, big toast because you already know we started the day off with that Macklin neighborhood juice. Today's juice of the day is that melon hydration. But can you guess what flavor this is? No, you can't. All right, so the flavor is honeydew. Yes, we we, we going with a honeydew today. You know, we do it in the, we do about a gallon in the neighborhood. Come yeah, on. Yeah, Shane, we do we do about a gallon in the neighborhood. The very last day of the neighborhood of this neighborhood, 40 days, 40 nights juice cleanse. Yes, the the, the juice cleanse itself ended on Thursday. This past Thursday, but the whole entire cleanse series ends today on Monday because this is the last day of the breaking of the fast this is the last part this is the fourth quarter of the whole fast in its entirety i showed you guys how to enter the fast or like through post on my if you follow me on my socials i showed you guys how to enter the fast the proper steps to take to enter the fast i wanted to make this series to serve a purpose of being more the, the informative series you dig but been super informative. I, I showed, I told you guys, showed you guys how to enter a fast, showed you the process of, you know, what it will feel like during the fast, and you know what you'll feel, what what's the purpose, and you know just how to prepare and how to operate during the fast. And now I'm the fourth quarter is basically showing you guys how to re-enter back into the world and world of eating the food you want to eat hopefully after this fast though you guys have um ended your bad food relationships or started the process of ending your bad food relationships or relationships that you have with food and you know stopped eating the foods that are working against you and not just your health but your family's health and then the ones that are to come within your family you dig but Yes, that's what this fourth quarter was about. It's about how, teaching you guys how to break fast properly and you know how to incorporate the right foods um to re-enter back into the world of eating cooked foods and you know stuff like that again. You feel me? And just your heavy starchy, you know, greens and all that the whole nine, you dig? And I just wanna give a big ups and a cheers and a big salute. To all the neighbors that have truly been tapped into that neighborhood, to the neighborhood nature boy show, you know what I'm saying? Whether you subscribe, whether you share or spread the word, spread the word throughout the neighborhood, um, put somebody on to the show, um, buy juices from the neighborhood, or you buy some neighborhood pieces, or you just simply just like, subscribe, and watch the show. I appreciate you. Or you follow me on my socials, I appreciate you, man. Let's keep this thing going. This is the greatest more life show um, on the planet, and I will stand by it. And we're gonna continue to show and prove, neighbors. Let's keep going. Let's keep mashing, and you know, let, let let's keep let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep mashing, and and it's day four. Let's get it popping, cause we never stop. And you heard, starting off day four, of course, with that neighborhood juice. And you know, you already know we getting the herbs in. You feel me? I did the. I usually I take six capsules, and I did. I already did three already. So now I'm doing the the, the last half. You feel me? Which is the other two. So we doing the juices, and then shortly after, I will show you my first meal of the day. It is another raw meal. It is absolutely one of my favorites, just like the side bowl. Um, I did not eat all of the side bowl. I only ate half of it, and then I froze the rest for another day. Um, I'm not going to eat it today just because I have something else. Oh, I may. I don't know. But I do have another raw recipe that I'm going to be making right now. I'm going to show you guys that. I'm excited to be eating it. It's been a while since I've eaten it. 
Um, not necessarily since I've consumed the fruit, because I made I juiced the fruit, but since I actually ate in this recipe. And just to give you guys a hint, it is one of the very first recipes I ever even aired on the show. You dig? You just gotta keep scrolling. You feel me? You'll see. And I actually have to make a a a uh, updated episode on that recipe. Uh, you guys are gonna see a, a a glimpse of it, but I want to show you guys in detail the full recipe. So that episode will be coming very soon. So stay tuned. Now we're just gonna make one of my favorite dishes on the planet: macaron, iconic papaya bowl. Look how vibrant and beautiful this fruit just looks. Man, it's one of the most diverse fruits on the planet. You heard? Right, look at this. Papaya is starting to sprout. So first we're gonna cut out the middle of the papaya. And as you guys can see, this, the seeds of the papaya have sprouted. It's my first time ever look at these papaya seeds having this happen sprouting. Out of papaya. That's crazy. You get me fine. Listen, if I didn't have some growing already, I would definitely plant these. I might still plant these. Never know. Welcome to the Neighborhood Growers Society, you did. Now the base for, the, for this one is going to be none other than my beautiful, creamy walnut butter. Hey, you get me fine. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is making the walnut butter my base to start building on. Um, you can use whatever butter you have. I like to use walnut butter or almond butter. Then I put a mixture of blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I'm just putting this napkin here just to hold it up. And then next is super simple. I'm gonna put some pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna put some date syrup. Then I'm going to be putting some coconut shavings as the final topping. Eh. Alright neighbors, so this is how you make that's how you make the papaya bowl. Man, super quick, super easy, and it's one of my favorite meals, raw meals to eat, period, man. You can fill this with a side, you can fill this with any nut butter of choice. Pull monetize. Oh god, that was crazy. <laughs> you can fill it with any toppings of choice, man. That that's why I love it, because it's so diverse and it and the papaya pairs well with a lot of different fruits. Now I know they do say eat melons alone and papaya is a melon, but you know you know, when you eat clean, you can do that. You feel me? You can you could do that. You could mix you could mix your fruits with your papayas here and there, you feel me? I would say more so your melon your 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 more watery melons, like your um like your watermelons, cantaloupes, honeydew, you feel me? But this Man, I love this. I could eat this all the time. Even matter of fact, when I was at school, I had a short stint of college. Uh, I was bringing this all the time to school, and everybody's looking at me crazy, man. But man, I ain't kidding, man. I was going, I was, I was, you know what I mean? Doing my thing. Mmm. Mmm. Man, it's going to hit every time. Mmm. -mm. Hit every time. Every time. Mm-mm. Mm. Every single day. Ah, baby. <laughs> Man, this is like my definitely my top five foods on the planet. Or meals on the planet. Eat this whenever. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or dessert. Don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said. It's diverse. You can mix and match oh. with anything you want. This is the papaya bowl. This is basically like the first meal we've had today. So I'm saying see you guys for meal number two. I already told you this last episode. We're not doing this. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing it. I'm about to eat my, especially my papaya bowl. We ain't doing this. You feel me? I'm about to go, you know what I'm saying? Eat my papaya bowl. I'm gonna see how for the, I'm gonna see how for the next meal. You feel me? Chill out. Relax. First we're gonna start off with our quinoa. Make sure you wash your quinoa. Make sure you wash it. So I put about a cup and a half of water to my cup of quinoa. Find that it makes better quinoa when I do it this way instead of putting the normal two to one ratio. Nah, we like ours firm and nice to eat, not, not that mushy crap. Then the seasons I put was onion powder, salt, 
tarragon, rosemary, and sage root. Then we're going to wash our kale because we're going to use that later on. And then we're going to chop up our peppers and onions. I use orange bells and red bell. Um, you can use whatever you want. This is just what I had, so I use these. And, you know, they just taste a mac on you, right? <laughs> get our red onions take some leave some red onions out to put it in the pot with the quinoa to give it that extra pizzazz you feel me and then we're going to chop up our kale you know what i mean now you could chop it up to the length of the kale that you would like remember this is going in the the pot with the veggies with other veggies or the saute veggies um I, I don't like mine's too shredded but i don't like it too big you feel me so like right in between that's how i cut it and damn it's looking good you heard <laughs> chopping chop our call me chop our d word look at that texture that quinoa though yeah we don't do the mushy quinoa in the neighborhood you dig no mushy quinoa all right, so next we're gonna set that to the side because it's done. We're just gonna let it steam cook on its own. Then we're gonna season the pan for the veggies. I put, you know, the onion powder, um, salt, coconut aminos, etc. Then I made my walnut meat, which was walnuts, a little bit of peppers and onions, garbanzo beans, and some kale, baby. And I didn't season it until I put it in the pan. I want to tell you guys something funny. I left this the seasoning on the pan just cooking and it burnt but it was making this a macklin barbecue smell and it was just it was crazy so I didn't I didn't rewash the pan or anything I just threw the veggies in there and you know seasoned it a little bit more like with a little bit of onion powder salt and some more coconut aminos and some date paste for a little bit of sweetness and just to bring it all together you dig damn it's looking good and it tastes even and man, I know y'all seen that glitch right there. I know everybody does that. They always put the wrong size lid on the pan. I do that every single time I cook, I promise you. <laughs> then next, we're going to just cook it a little bit more. Then we're going to throw the kale in there. Uh, before I mix it, I do let it steam a little bit in there for like five minutes. And then I mix it up together. But you could do, you could mix it right as soon as you put it in there. It's up to you. I try not to cook it too much because I still like that that crunchiness from the kale. And then, you know, we just gonna add our quinoa in with the kale. Now, why didn't I do this from the start? I don't know. I didn't think I was gonna make a one pot dish, but hey, we got it. <laughs> now, all I'm just doing is chopping up some avocados because this one I'm going to use to garnish the plate with. Um, I just love avocados, you know what I'm saying? They're so diverse. They go with any dish. I, I promise you they go with any dish, man. They really can. Now it's time to dress this thing up. Look at that beautiful, fluffy bed of quinoa, you know what I'm saying? Or just mixed stir-fried quinoa, you heard, with the kale and the peppers and the onions. And right, man, guys. oh, yeah. um, Lord, look at the, those are the, those the cherry tomatoes from the backyard, man. Shouts out to Neighborhood Grows Society again. You know what I mean? No better feeling than going, from, going to your backyard and eating what you grew, you and your people's grew, and it tastes a mac. They taste a macklin. You know what I mean? Way better than the store. So then, you know what I mean? I just got in my creative bag, and I don't know what made me put them around the plate, but I just was just freestyling and wilding. You heard? <laughs> and then lastly, we're gonna put our beautiful cherry tomatoes. And then, you know, it wouldn't be a dish if we ain't chop top it off with that ar arugula, you feel me? Some call it arugula. I call it arugula in the neighborhood, you dig? Look how vibrant and colorful and just, ooh, well put together this dish looks. Oh, man. Yo, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nature Boy, man. We wrapping up the last meal of day four, man. Yes, day four, bring it fast, baby. We about to... Man, so I told y'all we was coming back heavy swinging with the recipes. And today we did like kind of a, it was not necessarily a fully one pot dish, but it essentially got there. You feel me? I essentially, the last step to making it a one pot dish was 
basically just pouring the quinoa into the pot with the with the sauteed veggies and walnuts. Now, this was a, a recipe that I just literally came up as I made the as I made the episode or the last dish because I didn't have mushrooms and that was going to be the meat replacement. But I I was been making something. Um, I've been prepping something for what I'm about to make in a few days for my birthday, like my my previous birthday that I want to make for myself and I had I had some a plethora of walnuts. So I was like, "Yo, let me just make some walnut meat too." And I made that and man, it did, this dish just came out looking so amazing, man. I'm so proud of it. And you, you know, of course, we had to use the rest of those uh, cherry tomatoes from the backyard that we that I had. I had some avocado gar garnish around the the this beautiful immaculate hearty one pot dish. And like I said, we we, we incorporated some kale in this one. I didn't saute it too much. I just made sure I put it on the top of the pot, like you've seen, just so it could heat up a little bit and you know cook down a little bit. Uh, I try not to overcook the food, you feel me? And you know, we had to top it all off with some micro greens, which happened to be arugula, you feel me? Some say arugula, in the neighborhood we say arugula, yeah? So yeah, man, now it's time to try it, you feel me? I gotta get I gotta get everything, man. Oh, also, if you missed it, the, the whole base of the dish is uh, quinoa, which I cook separately. And I didn't throw it into the pot with the veggie, with the walnut meat and veggies, till after. But the walnut meat is basically just walnuts, kale, basically essentially everything that I cooked with the walnuts, kale, red onions, uh, orange, and red peppers. And then, you know, I just threw the quinoa in afterwards. But yeah, look, it's time to uh, try this out, man. I want to make sure I get every aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Got to get every aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? Every canvas of that. A ting, you get me? Mm. One thing about. Mm. Mm. I couldn't even talk about it. Mm. Nah. Too far. It's different. <laughs> it's different. Mm hmm Best one yet. Best dish yet. Mm hmm We took it there. We took it there this series. With the knowledge, with the end of the series recipes, with the juices. It's time to elevate. Y'all ready, neighbors? You feel me? And I just explained last episode, on day three episode, I ain't finna sit here and talk to y'all. Know what I'm saying? Listen, just know this is a macro dish, and there will be nothing left after I get off this. <laughs> Everything must go. Feel me? So, I'm about to eat in peace. <laughs> just a ray of flavors, man. Oh. And then that mintiness of the Aragoya. Love it. Definitely has to be my top five favorite veggies. Hold on. And the sweetness of the cherry, the males. They so fresh in the backyard. Make sure y'all tune in to the Neighborhood Grow Society episodes. So you can then grow some cherries in your backyard. Or some peppers in your grow backyard. And then cook with them. You know, only the freshest, you heard? It's your boy. I'm going to be on nature boy. Peace, love, light, and much healing energy to you and yours. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning into this neighborhood um, juice cleansing series. I appreciate you. 40 days, 40 nights, we did it. This is the very last day, which was breaking fast. The fast actually ended on Thursday. That was the last day. And we broke fast on Friday. Breaking fast in the neighborhood is just me just essentially just telling you guys, showing you guys and telling you guys how to properly break fast and lead back into eating cooked foods. So we here, we back to eat cooked foods. You know what I mean? I'm going to still keep it light. Y'all know I don't really eat cooked foods all the time like that. So, no. Probably not going to eat another cooked dish. Probably turn later on in the week. I think my sister's taking me out. I don't know if she's going to flake or not. But yo, stay tuned. Make sure to follow me on all my socials at neighborhood underscore. 
and go to subscribe to their free newsletter at neighborhoodnicheboy.com. If you want to start your start your juice cleanse, tap in. We got the we don't we provide only the freshest of juices. And you, if you want to know some recipes, some juice and recipes, tap into my IG, where I got a bunch. Where I've been uploading one recipe, one juice recipe a week for the past couple of months. So tap in, tune in, and let's get right. It's about health and wellness, and it's about getting our mind, body, and spirit. And in and, and, and one accord, you feel me? And getting right and having fun with it too, you feel me? Because you already know your nature, whatever you do, we're gonna have fun with it, you heard? Whether we growing outside, whether we going on an adventure, whether we in the kitchen cooking, whether we giving this health and wellness game, whatever we doing, we're gonna have fun with it. Make sure to stay tuned for the pop ups, man. we about to start very soon. You know what I'm saying? First location coming very soon. So stay tuned to the IG where I'll be announcing it. Um, peace and love. Um, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to the neighborhood if you haven't already. Leave a like, comment on what you think about this 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 neighborhood series and what the the lesson out of this whole series that stood out to you the most. Peace. I love you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the neighbors in the hood that been in tune tune with this channel for the past two to three years, man. We coming strong. So stay tuned for much more episodes in the neighborhood. It's your boy. Peace and love, man. Always, always, always remember. Never in doubt, check the neighborhood out, you dick!